Hi everyone, I'm Donna Gross. I'm the Territory Manager located in South Carolina and I want to wish everybody a great day. I hope everybody's staying well and safe. I would like to do a demo today of our above ground bait station or our AG. Um, I have my fake mud tubes here so we'll kind of do this as a step-by-step -step operation and just follow along. First, you're gonna notice I have gloves on. Gloves are very important to wear when you're working with Centricon because you don't wanna have any contamination with the product. So if you would happen to smoke or you chew, always wear gloves. Even if you use a soap that has any kind of flowery smell, uh, that could also uh, deter the termites. So when you're getting ready to install an AG, first you wanna find an active mud tube. So as I said in my demo here, I have some mud tubes. If we break open the mud tube and we do not have our AG already prepared, what's gonna happen? Well, our soldiers are gonna start coming out and defending the colony and our workers are gonna start building it back. So the first thing we wanna do is look and find our um, mud tubes, but then let's go back and set up our AG. As I mentioned, you open it up and you're gonna notice that it has a flex pack and the hard cover. So this is the film part with the bait and the hard cover with the screws. I have folks ask me, is this bait the same as the in-ground bait that's around the home? And it is. This is actually the refines from when they cut, just like as if you would cut lumber, you have sawdust, this is that product. So this is Novaflumeron in the flex pack. Let's go ahead and get started. So first we wanna take the bait out of the film and as you notice, the, this is really nice, tight vacuum seal. So I usually kind of try to shake it down here a little bit. And you're gonna notice that this line here, it says cut here and add moisture. So I make a nice cut right across the top and just be very careful not to cut all the way through and to cut your hands. So be very, very careful. All right, so I make a nice slit right here in the top. And as you can see, it's basically like a little, little pocket okay right there all right now what I'm going to do is get my water people ask me also Donna do I use water do I use Gatorade and the answer is you can use water or Gatorade I've been told that light blue Gatorade seems to be the preferred but to be straight with you uh, I have used water and have had great success every time so as you notice, the bait automatically comes down once you have air into the pouch. And I fill this up all the way to the bait and I let it sit and it will automatically kind of break this down because we want to get this into a form of almost like mashed potatoes or like a cookie dough. All right, so we have the water in there and you can already see that it's starting to break up. One little tip is I always put my thumb over the top because if you start pushing on the bottom, all the moisture is going to start coming up and out of the top. So I keep my thumb down here and I start breaking this up. Okay. And it's going to take probably maybe five minutes or maybe less. Okay. I just kind of keep massaging this and then as it continues to soak into the bait, I will add more water. And again, the reason I do this like out over like my truck bed or out in the yard is again, you don't wanna have any accidents in your customer's home. So now let's get ready to install our above ground bait. All right, put that aside. This aside. So here right now is our mud tube. And of course we're in a crawl space or garage. So the first thing we wanna do is just break open the mud tube. So we wanna just pick a little piece off, okay? If this was again a real mud tube, we'd have soldiers and workers start coming out. If it's a dead mud tube, you just wanna scrape this mud tube off and then maybe go to the next one. I have questions. Should I put a above ground bait on this mud tube as well as the second mud tube? My answer would be yes. Put them on both because we don't know if this colony is the same as this colony. Let's install our AG. 
first of all, we need to have access for our termites to enter the bait. So, let's. some people put an X right here. I prefer to just slit it right down the middle. As I do this, just be very careful not to cut all the way through and into the palm of your hand. So there's the bait, and we're going to secure it right over the open area of the mud tube, like so. As you notice, I initially just put staples in here to secure it to the wall or whatever my surface is, so I can put it up there and then I can uh, also then secure it more with tape or if you want to use a putty or something like that. Next, you want to look at your coverings. If you could use a flex pack, if that's a better situation, or you need to use a hard cover. Okay, and I can explain maybe in both reasons why you might want to use um, either or. Also, down here, I've cut some uh, tape that I'm going to secure on the sides of my AG. So as you can see, I have this secured nice and tightly against our surface with the tape. I've left the tape away from the actual mud tube. And now I can decide if I want to use a hard cover or a um, film, okay? The big thing is with a hard cover, you want to make sure that you have these little tabs out because originally it's going to look like this, okay? You see these little indentations here? You could just pop these off and this is how it looks now when you have it open. And you put that right over and you can see how it fits nicely over the mud tube. Now this is a great instance where this is optimal, right? But if you have to put it in a corner, you're able to make any kind of creation you want here. So if you have a mud tube in a corner, you can obviously use this hard cover in a corner. Also with the flex pack film itself, if you want to secure this, you want to make sure that you put it on there nice and tightly and either secure it up here with additional tape or staple, but you want to leave one end open so then you can peek right underneath and see the activity going on. Also, this is a great way for you to show your customers that, hey, there is activity. This is what, look, what it looks like after I peeled the, uh, the cover back, okay? So say let's put this hard cover on, okay? great thing about this is if you go back, you open this up, right, you take this off, say a third or half of this is eaten, you can actually put another bait right on top of this. So you prepare another bait matrix just as you did this, slice this right down the middle, in the back side here, do the same that you did on this one by opening the other end so it is for open for the termites, and you put that right over and you can actually double stack then. So this is a great opportunity. You can just click these together, have another bait inside on top, and then secure the top portion. And secure it with your longer, or I'm sorry, with your shorter screws here. And then I would also suggest that you put tape around both of these bait stations so then they're secure together, but I would never stack more than two. Again, a very nice visual for your customer. So again, I hope that you've enjoyed this short video on how to install an AG. Also, always remember to keep the label with you whenever you're out and about, so you can always reference that in case you have any further questions. And lastly, if you need to reach me because of any questions, feel free to give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help. Again, stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you soon. Take care.